Have you ever wondered where eye color comes from? Let's talk about that. What makes green eyes green and blue eyes blue? You may think it's because eyes have pigments that give them their color. But this is wrong. That's not how it is. So it turns out that eye color is determined by three factors. The amount of melanin you have, the amount of collagen in your eye, and the amount of lipochrome. The pigment melanin is brown in color, and it gives hair, skin, and eyes their color. So take someone with brown eyes. They have a large amount of melanin, as indicated by this slidey thingy. If you reduce the amount of melanin a bit, then you get hazel eyes. If you reduce the amount of melanin even, even further, then you get green eyes. And if you reduce the amount of melanin all the way down to none, you get blue eyes. So what's happening here? What's happening is that blue eyes are blue for the same reason that the sky is blue. And the same reason that this butterfly's wings are blue. And for the same reason that this cafeteria roast beef has a rainbow shimmer to it. When light passes into the iris of the eye, it's scattered and bounced around. But blue light is scattered more than other colors of light, which is why the color blue appears. So it turns out that green eyes are really a mixture of blue light scattering plus some brown famelanin. Put those two together, you get green. There are a couple other eye colors that are possible. You can have gray eyes, and gray is a result of higher concentration of collagen in the eye, which stops scattering. So the more collagen you have, the less blue scattering you'll have. Another substance is lipochrome. Lipochrome are fat deposits in the eye that give a yellow tint. But there you have it. Eyes get their color in part from Rayleigh scattering, which also is seen in butterflies, beef, and beetles. See you next time on Me Talking About Science.